Hello everyone, and this is your 5 and welcome to the Global Mass Central Toy Review. And today, so we're looking at the 2008 release by Hasbro of the G.I. Joe celebrating the 25th anniversary action figure review. And today's action figure, we're looking at the comic pack issue 115 featuring Captain Ace and Wow Weasel. And this is a part one video, so we'll be focusing our attention on Captain Ace. Now, I got this comic pack to eBay in purchasing a total of four comic packs along with this one so each of the comic pack only cost me like 40 ringgit so each of the figures will cost me only 20 ringgit and it's a good deal that I cannot pass the chance by because I really wanted to get Wild Weasel and Captain Ace these are the two figures that well in my G.I. Joe collection that I don't have and I really wanted to get Wild Weasel in the Target exclusive Cobra Rattler with the Wild Weasel figure but in eBay they scalped the price to an overwhelmingly expensive pricing so I can't afford those but seeing the comic pack at least I have something and I really love Wild Weasel character as well, and Captain Ace as well now for this comic pack you will notice on the top section there there's the Operation Rescue Dog a mail in exclusive offer where every time you open up the packaging for the comic pack itself that has this inside the packaging would have this mail in order to fill in your details of your name address and whatsoever there's this six slots for you to fill in the stickers to place the stickers there and each comic pack will usually have one red sticker so you have to buy at least five more others to fill in the rest of the slots there to mail in this exclusive to get this exclusive dog figure according to the well the smaller piece of paper Cooper commander is actually goading you to try to rescue dog there because he, they already captured dog and by the time you wanted to get the five other well comic packs with the stickers it will be too late for you to rescue dog because there's a limited time offer so it was quite very interesting gimmick they tried to use this to market this to get people to buy more comic packs just to get the exclusive figure of course I'm not interested in getting the figure itself and I'm not a big fan of Doc I'm sorry <laughs> so in the comic pack itself it comes with a comic issue 115 funny thing about issue 115 is that it barely actually featured Captain Ace and Wild well, Weasel only like a well a few pages two or three pages at most the main characters in this comic itself the story itself is the pilot for the Phantom X-19 Ghost Rider not from Marvel and Dogfight so I was quite surprised on why would they chose issue 115 rather than issue 34 where Captain A's gone one-on-one -on -one, well of course with Lady J of course as a uh, co-pilot one-on-one -on -one with one weasel co-pilot with Baroness on a fight with the Sky Striker and Cobra Rattler in the middle of the city or a suburban area that would be a perfect choice to place into this comic pack why would they wanted to put an issue 115 where these two characters barely even made it more than five pages it's just beyond me so it was quite, quite disappointing to know that they chose this issue but then again I digress I already babbled wrong enough let's take a look at the inside of the bubble itself you've got the nice little figure of Captain Ace there holding the helmet and at the bottom there there's the base stand I'm just focusing on one of the figures and at the bottom there there's a small little simple artwork of Captain Ace not the original artwork and at the back portion there you will see that there's two issues the cover is actually repainted or well redrawn as you can see there this is the original comic itself very nicely done and usually the comic itself the new reissue repainted comic itself all the colors are all redone and here stating a small little write-up about <laughs> well issue 115 stating in counting coop comic 150 issue 115 the top gun pilots of the gi joe team and the corporate organization take each other on the skies of over bazine 
Captain Ace pushes a Sky Striker jet to its limit to complete this mission as Wild Weasel flies a Rattler at with venomous skill to stop the G.I. Joe pilot at all costs. Um, wrong issue? Because this one is actually showing more towards the Phantom X-19 with Ghost Rider and Dogfight rather than Captain Ace and Wild Weasel. I guess someone did some mistake on the research there. And here you got an image of Doc there with an exclusive mail-in offer. And the, the rest of the lineup for number issue number 14, issue number 13, issue 14 now features Destro and Corporal Breaker. And issue number 30, we have Dreadnought Torch and Dreadnought Ripper. So, you have it. Let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toy. Be right back. And we're back of the ring of figure and the rest of the stuff of your packaging. Now let's take a look at the comic that came in the comic pack, issue 115. And you notice the front cover here has been redrawn to look exactly or similarly like the old 1991 release of the issue 115 G.I. Joe comic. As you can see there, very nicely done with the new artwork style. However, it's just for the front cover. Everything inside is the same from the 1991, but, well, recolored. Now, you notice Captain Ace only appear in the front, second, third, and fourth pages, and that's about it. And then it starts to show Ghost Rider, this character. They never actually mention his name. Everyone seemed to forgot his code name because it's a Marvel comic, and Marvel Universe actually has a character called Ghost Rider, so I guess it's a copyright issue. Then we have Wild Weasel appearing only a few pages until his plane got shot by back, back blast, and he ejected out of his plane. And the rest of the pages just show Ghost Rider piloting the Phantom X-19 to avoid being detected and shot. And just to take a picture of a fire bat launching from a city called Benzene. And that's about it. Now at the back of the issue itself, very nicely done. You got a Cobra Commander there. And behind him, a whole row of Cobra Troopers. You will notice that this Cobra Commander is a bit different. Especially on the hip joints there. You notice there's a hinge joint. Rather than a normal joint, a normal ball joint. Like any other typical... G.I. Joe figures that would have. So this is a quite interesting discovery. And the bottom state, the Cobra is back. Very nice. Next, we have the mail-in special offer where you list down your name, your street, your email, and then have to place in six slots with the proof or purchase sticker, as you can see here. And at the back there are stated, well, this is from Cobra Commander, it's stated to whom it may concern. We have Doc. Once we brainwash him, he'll be the key to the success of my ultimate evil plan. Not too sure how a doctor would do that for Cobra Commander's evil plan. Only six proof or purchase stickers can save him, but you'll never collect them in time. In fact, I dare you to try. You'll never make it, and soon I will rule the world. Ha 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 ha. I'm not too sure why Cobra Commander will actually write that in on a letter. And at the bottom of the state, the Cobra Commander. Again, not too sure what he plans to do with Dog. I would love to know. And we have a file card for Captain Ace here. Now, stated above, they're stated as G.I. Joe Pilot, codename Captain Ace, small little artwork of Captain Ace there. Really plain looking, very average looking artwork. I really wish they used back the old Captain Ace artwork from the old uh, Captain Ace figure. Now, the top section, they stated file name, Umbruster Brad J. Primary military specialty pilot. Secondary military specialty intelligence operations. Birthplace. Providence, Rhode Island. Grade 0-3, Captain USAF. Now, in his write-up, he stated, Captain Ace would rather fly than do anything else. During high school, he worked after school and weekends to pay for flying lessons. He spent one year flying pipelines in Alaska and two years stun flying for movies before enlisting in the USAF and he joined the G.I. Joe team after serving in pilot combat training school as a senior instructor. 
He's right at home in the cockpit of all types of planes and has an intuitive knack for getting the most out of them. Now, at the bottom, whoever quote this, never mentioned, stated Captain Ace has one major character flaw, cutthroat poker, a predilection for gambling would ordinarily disqualify an applicant for the G.I. Joe team, but in Umbruster's case, you can hardly call it gambling since he never loses. How that logic works is beyond me. Now, to continue on, stated that's why we call him Captain Ace. Again, how that logic works is beyond me. It's calling a gambling, not a gambling, because he never lost. And the back there is all black. Now let's take a look at the figures and accessories. Now it comes from a nice little base stamp with a nice little G.I. Joe logo on the top. Now there's only one peg rather than two pegs for the figure to stand on. And the nameplate there stated as code name Captain Nings. At the back here stated as at 2007 Hasbro made in China. Now, Captain A's don't come with any weapons, it only comes with two accessories. First, we have a helmet, which is actually made of a clear translucent plastic material. And as you can see, you can actually see the head quite clearly when he's wearing the helmet. Now, the back portion of the helmet itself is painted in dull white. One side of the helmet is painted in dark grey. There's a small little detail of a star there. On the other side, the button is painted in silver. And this is a toggle to actually wind up the glass helmet up. But of course, this entire thing is molded, so you can't actually do that. Next, we have the straps. And the strap here, the entire dull white color you, you notice is actually not painted that's the plastic color the straps are all painted in dark gray and this section here is painted in red there are two buttons as you can see here to the straps very easy to remove and put on for the figure like so the buttons you have to fiddle around with it because it's quite small it helps when you have fingernails. And there you have it. And removing it is also quite easy. Like so. Now let's take a look at the figure's paint job. Majority of the dull white that you're noticing here is actually the plastic color. The entire head is actually painted. The entire head is the same color as the body itself. So, very nice paint job on the head itself, but not a lot of shading going on for the flesh tone skin. Hair is painted in dark brown, very nice. Eyebrows as well. Eyes is also painted, but one side of the eye, it looks kind of... He has this really crazy look for his left side eye. Neck is painted. You can see a bit of red there. His shirt is painted. You got a really dull, dark red going on. So more towards brownish red. Being painted on the edges here. To the abs, crotch, corners of the hips, knee pads, his butt, back of the uh, hip, corner of the hips, the back portion of the spine, and also the back portion of his knees there. It's all painted in that color. Side of the thighs there is painted in dark grey, so that's on the other side. Lower section of the leg is painted in very light red colour. Now there is quite interesting. One side of the arm here is painted in red on the upper bicep with the word imprinted on it stated as ace. On the other side there's a small little eagle logo. Very nicely done. Very small, very detailed stuff. Now let's take a look at the figure scout. Now, Captain Ace back then was released in 2008 and this body mode was actually, well, an original body mode and unique by itself until any other figures that were released in later waves were subsequently would, well, use some of the parts to build the other figures. For instance, we would have Wild Bill. Wild Bill shared the torso parts and the thigh parts and even the arms and including 
a specialist tracker very nice so the body mode is actually very nicely done I really love the amount of details they put there a lot of wrinkles on the amps there small little badge I really wish that this name badge here is actually well painted rather than you know leave it on like a plastic color but there's a lot of nice details on the wrinkles especially on the lower legs here very nicely done the shoes are nicely done as well with the details there shoe laces are all nicely molded and Captain A's head sculpt is actually it's all right not too much details being put onto it well, at least you can see some of the details like the ears the face is nicely done the hair is rather short but still quite nice let's take a look at the figures articulation the head cannot pivot up and down or side to side but it can turn 360 degrees and it pops off real easy too I didn't secure it properly torso here can turn 360 degrees go back a little bit forward a little bit and side to side shoulders here turn 360 degrees and raise the arms this far elbow joint here bend this far and back a little bit and turn 360 degrees wrist joint here can also turn 360 degrees now the hip joints here move forward back a little bit and to the sides double jointed knee that bend this far not a lot as you can see and ankle joint here can pivot downwards up a little bit and turn 360 degrees now if you're a fan of Captain A's then this combat pack is a must have especially when it comes with Wild Weasel but the figure is not really well painted because the dull white colors are it looks rather boring but if you're a fan of Captain Ace then by all means this figure is actually a must-have but for figure wise he he rather comes with very small amount of accessories we only have the straps here and the helmet doesn't even come with any weapons at all what's really disappointing is for the 25th anniversary line itself captain ace don't even have a sky well, sky striker plane so basically when you have captain ace he doesn't even have a plane for him for himself so it's rather disappointing actually but other than that the figure is great average looking a little bit but still looks really nicely done so if I'm going to give a rating out of this figure, I would say I will give it a nice 8 out of 10. Yes, 8 out of 10 for Captain Ace. It is actually not bad, it's just the colors I really don't like how well, they don't bother to paint the entire white there rather than well, relying on the plastic color because it looks rather dull looking. So a nice 8 out of 10 for Captain Ace. I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.